and welcome to a special edition Couch Sessions with Dr. McSharma. This is a second in a series we are calling 12 Reasons Why You Should Vote For Patrick Curtin. Now Patrick, I need you to introduce yourself to everyone and let us know what you're running for. Hi, I'm Patrick Curtin. I'm running for City Council and District C. Okay, I'm going to need you to do that again, except with a robe on because this is a Couch Sessions. Hello, right? Yes. Let's do it. Now that you're officially robed up, let's do your introduction again. I think it's going to be much better because I'm in a Star Trek robe. Definitely. Very cool. Yes. Hi, I'm Patrick Curtin. I'm running for City Council and District C. Woohoo! Now, Patrick, since you're in a couch session, you must abide by the rules of the couch. Awesome. Now, you're here to convince me, the potential voter, why I should vote for you. Okay. In order to win the interview and be able to leave the couch, you have to get 12 check marks. When you get a check mark, you'll hear this sound, which means you said something I really like. Okay. However, you must get to 12 check marks before you hit five X's when you'll hear this sound. Yeah. Every time you hear that sound, you have to take a swig of Mama's Old Fashioned Barley Juice because you said something I didn't like. Capiche? Capiche? First test, how do you spell capiche? C-A-P-I-C-H-E. Capiche. Ooh, you didn't even ask for a language of origin. Nice, check mark. <laughs> what a way to start off. You were born in? New Orleans. How long have you lived in Shreveport? About 50 years. So safe to say you know and love the city, clearly. Oh, obviously. You've been here. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, raised my kids here. You've also been a professional actor. That's how I first met you. Yes. You I've... were in the feature film Build Here. Cut to the chase. Cut to the chase. I was the sleazy DA. But that is not who you are. No. In real life. No, okay. I'm not a DA. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. What's your favorite movie? Rocky. Nice. Okay. That's an almost check mark, but not quite. Favorite Avenger. Oh, Captain America. Ooh, check mark. Yeah. <laughs> favorite sport and sports team. Oh, God. Who is it? The Dallas Cowboys. Yes! yes! You were born in New Orleans! But I, I became a Cowboys fan before there ever was a Saints. Double I, X, double X! Yer, yer. Yer, yer. <laughs> drink, drink. Favorite Thanksgiving side dish? Uh, sweet potato casserole. Ooh, check mark. Yeah. 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 Uh, and last question for this section. Don't the monkeys deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? They're a made-up TV band. X! Well, yer. They may have started it out that way, but they became musical legends in their own right, and they're still performing. So, check mark just for the monkeys. Check mark for the monkeys. Woo! Before we get into some mediocre questions, I want you to give your 30 second pitch directly to the camera. Why should the District C voter vote for you, Patrick Curtin, for city council? And go. I'm a regular Broadmoor guy who loves Shreveport. I'm here to help everybody in the district. I know there's certain parts of the city that has been neglected. I want to represent every one of those people, not just the people who contribute to wealthy campaigns. I love that. <clears throat> yeah, and, keep going. and uh... And the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the monkeys definitely deserve to be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Okay, thank you. Check mark. Can we give a round of applause? <laughs> Cheers to the monkeys. Now it's time for Z questions. Are you yeah, ready? I'm ready. All right. Number one, who's the most Indian person on your advisory board? That would be Dr. J. McSharma. Oh, my God. What? Check mark. <laughs> Love it. Number two. Yes. There are no Democrats or independents in the race for city council. So why should I, as a registered Democrat or someone who's an independent, vote for you? So when I was putting together my advisory board, I wanted a group that reflected Shreveport because uh, Shreveport's a very diverse city and we're not going to help the city if we don't help everybody in the city. Right. So that's why I have Democrats, independents, Republicans, um, black, white, all races, men, women, young and old. Right. I just want a real great cross-representation on my advisory board and I want to hear viewpoints that I probably hadn't thought of before. I think a great leader is one who listens and that's what I want to do. I saw this page today. It's actually a Facebook page called Democrats and Independents for Patrick Curtin. And you didn't put this page no, up. No, I, I just found out about it today, as a matter of fact. And uh, I like what they wrote on the About Me part of the page. It just says, my name is Merritt, how do you say it? Merritt Rabouche? Merritt Rabouche. 
And I started this page after meeting and speaking with Patrick several times. I had grown concerned about the other Republican candidates' financial affiliation with certain businesses in town, as well as his past focus on forcing his personal beliefs on others, rather than addressing tangible problems facing our community. So I just, I just really appreciate how she says, she, you have a love for Shreveport, your life experiences, and your commitment to making our city even better than it already is, is the reason that she supports you. Now, several people already like this page. Yeah. So I, there's not a, a Democrat or independent running, but there's several Democrats and independents who support you. I think that says a lot about you. That's a check mark. <laughs> Ding. Name the top three issues you're going to tackle once in office. Well, I think the number one that everybody talks about is crime. Mm. Um, Shreveport police officers are paid $18,000 a year less than the regional average. Oh so God. we're training officers, good officers, we have a great training academy, and they're going off to other cities because they can make more money. I, I think we need to help get police officers what they need. Right. Second, property standards. The lack of attention to proper property standards is really getting out of control. So I would love to try to work it out so we can streamline the process. Uh, because from the time somebody makes a complaint to the time there's a resolution, if there's a resolution, it can right. be years. Yeah, which is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, also economic development. Yes. I think we really need to work with getting some young, uh, there's some great young entrepreneurs that want to get out and go market our city. Right. Uh, get jobs here. But if you're going to attract businesses, you got to get the crime under control and you got to get the, the way the city looks under control. And mandatory couch sessions viewing in every home. It's got to be legalized. Clearly. Yes. Check mark. Ding. Thank you. Ding. What's been the hardest part of running for city council? That's a great question. Um, I will say this, I've loved the process. I knew what I was signing up for when I got into it. Yeah. The hardest part is seeing the attacks and how it affects my wife. Yeah. Uh, she didn't sign up for this and she feels like she wants to protect me and, and I see that it really upsets her when our finances and our past financial struggles are dragged to the dirt. I saw that. Uh, for political gain and uh, it's embarrassing to her. Your uh, opponent took a personal financial hardship that y'all had had and tried to use it against you basically is what happened. Which absolutely. brings me to a new section I'd like to call Tea Time with Auntie Dr. Jaya. <clears throat> now, of course, we need transparency from our elected officials. Hashtag, obviously. But what I find super tacky is when someone who's running to represent us in government, a lawyer, in fact, who's supposed to represent truth, justice, and the American way, uses something personal like financial devastation to try to denigrate the moral character of his opponent tells me two things. One, you're tacky AF. And two, Patrick Curtin has obviously gone through personal hardships and has done so without compromising his character. Hashtag backfire. Hashtag rude. And that's it for Tea Time with Auntie Dr. Jaya. Patrick? <coughs> <laughs> That's you what can't I do that with the scotch. You can't go. <laughs> well, Patrick, we are coming to the end of our interview. Hashtag sad. Yeah. But we're only up to eight check marks, which means you still need four more to win the interview. However, you're at three X's. So That's it's time lot. for a rapid fire, no pressure. That's a lot of pressure. <sighs> Ready? Yeah. First answer that comes to mind Jimmy Fallon or Jimmy Kimmel? Jimmy Fallon. Check mark. <laughs> Ellen or Oprah? Ellen. Check mark. Yay. But I do love Oprah too. So actually both answers were right. Wine or beer? Both. Ooh, check mark. Yay. Nicely done. All right. So I think we're up to 11. Oh, goodness. Favorite holiday? Christmas. Eh, we were looking for Halloween. I'm sorry, that's an X. Yeah. So we're up to 11 checks and four Xs for all the marbles. Patrick Curtin, are you ready? Yep. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? Yeah. 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 He made it. Yes. Patrick Curtin. Thank Vote you. Vote for Patrick Curtin for City Council District C. He's Patrick Curtin, and he approves this message. Yes, I do. Thank you so much, and thank you for letting me wear the Star Trek logo. You're so welcome. Can I try something? Sure. Beam me up, Scotty. What? Did you 
see that? 